Welcome to a new lesson. In this lesson, we'll be modeling trinomials as binomial products. Let's go back to your algebra tiles. Let's recall the big squared is referred to be as x squared because their dimension is x by x. The long rectangles refer to as one as x or an x, and the one little small squares are referred to as 1. We're going to use these algebra tiles to, to model our trinomials. And just refresh your memory about the little square here. It's because it's 1 times 1, which makes the area to be 1. So we're always referring to the area and the dimensions of our shapes. So our first example, factor x squared plus 3x plus 2 using algebra tiles. So let's first um, talk about these algebra tiles. We have 1x squared. We have uh, two rect pardon me, three rectangles because we have three x's. And we have two little uh, squares, referring to as ones. So factoring means, in other words, um, finding the dimension of a rectangle with the following dimensions, x with the following area, x squared plus 3x plus 2. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make a little uh, rubric like this, <clears throat> and we're going to fit uh, these shapes uh, into a rectangle. So we're going to start with our x squared. Um, then we're going to uh, use the, uh, the three x's. Um, how we're going to fit them is that they can only, they can't fit this way. They can't fit this way because uh, we don't know how many of them will fit down. What do we have to fit? fit them, the way we fit them is we put them alongside, like so. And another possibility is put them like this, right below the x squared. We fit them so that we get two little uh, squares like this. Uh, why two little squares? Because that's what we have as our uh, ones. Oh. And this one's fairly easy. Um, and the third, third x fits um, right in the rectangle. So now we have a rectangle that it has three x's, uh, x squared, and two ones. So now we take a look at the, its dimension. We know the length of it is x. This is an x. And the length of it is 1 and another 1. We're going to add them together, and that makes a 2. Now we take a, take a look at the dimensions going downwards. And we know that's the length of that um, uh, cube is x. And one of dimension is 1. So it's x plus 1. So that means the factors of x squared plus 3x, the area of it, is the multiplication between, and we're going to put them in brackets, x plus 2 and x plus 1. Let's take a look at a different example. In this case, we're going to factor x squared plus 5x plus 6 using algebra tiles. So again, let's draw our tiles. We have 1x squared, so that means it's uh, one big squared plus five long rectangles. And one, two, three, four, five, and six little squares. <clears throat> now we're going to, again, put them into our little um, rubric. Maybe it's a word rubric is a bad word, but these, this little um, into our little page right there beneath the into the side of the black lines 
I'm going to put the first, the large square first. And now we have to, we have to make sure that we fit the, the long rectangle so that we have exactly six little, um, little uh, squares. So we have five of those rectangles. So here's one, here's two, here's one, here's two. And, um, and this is the third one. Now, um, let's fill in the little cubes little squares and make sure that there are six. If uh, they don't match, that you can't put six in this, therefore our configuration is correct and you'll probably have to redo it. But notice that um, all the sides are lined up together. The ones line up with the ones, the x's line up with the x's, and our um, algebra tiles area rectangle is complete. So now let's take a look at our result. We know that this length here is x and that there's one, two, three ones. So that means this factor is x plus three. We know that this length is x and this length of both these rectangles are ones and there's two, so that this factor is also complete. Therefore this gives me the answer that x squared plus five x when we factor it using algebra tiles will equal to x plus 3 times x plus 2. We always use brackets um, in our answer to show that there's uh, factors. Just recall that uh, this is um, the space between the brackets is always um, there's an invisible multiplication we don't put. We'll do one more question which is a little bit more challenging. In this case we're going to our third example factor uh, 4x squared plus 6x plus 2. Let's first pick our algebra tiles. Now we have four large um, squares. Now, and then we have four long rectangles. Sorry, six long rectangles. And we have two small um, squares. Now, uh, we always start with the large squares. I'm going to fit them in, and uh, I'm going to do it maybe incorrectly right now. I'm going to put them all kind of like that. And uh, the next part is that we have to put in our six, um, uh, six rectangles. So we're going to put it like this, two, three, uh, for notice that we can't put any more rectangles on the left because then uh, if we do that, so on the right, we'll have to put the, um, the cubes and that won't just work. They can't be put in there. So I'm going to continue on adding the rectangles at the bottom and I don't have much space. So I'm just going to um, redo this question. I'm just going to redo this question. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller for you. Okay, and then that's one rectangle, that's another rectangle, that's another rectangle, and that's another rectangle. And then we have to put two rectangles, again, out of space. So I'm just going to put everything up. And I'm going to put now the bottom rectangles so that they're matchy. And we have the two ones. Oh, it's really hard, clear to see that these are the ones, but they are. There you go. So this means uh, that uh, we finished off putting all these in a rectangle. And let's see the dimensions of it. So here's an x, and here's a 1. So we're going to add 1. That's one of the factors. And then let's count how many x's we have. One, two, three, four going downwards. So we have four x. And how many ones? One, two. So plus two. Therefore, our answer to the factor of four x squared plus two, four six x plus two is equivalent to four x plus two times x plus one.
that's our factor because these are the dimensions of the area of this shape and here is your